Your boy is back. What is good family? It has been way too long, but I am back for another video and we're gonna be doing videos every week. So stay tuned. Your boy is back. Today we are talking about what I would do if I were to invest a thousand dollars today. I'm gonna give you guys a two minute rundown on what I would do with a thousand bucks today. So if you're just getting started with investing, I would highly recommend being conservative with your approach. Don't go and, sl and st don't go and put a thousand bucks into cryptocurrency. Don't go and put that money to some penny stock your best friend told you about. What you want to do, and again, this is not financial advice, but this is what I would do, um, is, is go very conservative by investing in what is called the S&P 500, the Standard & Poor 500. This index has performed and yielded around 10% per year over the past 60 to 80 years, it's done around 10% per year. So if you were to have invested a thousand dollars into the S and P in 2012, by 2022, you'd have around $3,500 in your portfolio. That's a 258% return or 12 to 13% annual return. Now with inflation, your inflation adjusted return would be around $2,800 and around 178% return. That's great, man. That's around 10% return per year. What is better than that? Maybe, you know, some, some riskier things might be, but if you're just starting out and you're starting with a thousand bucks, go conservative, start small and build your position over time. We talk about this principle a lot on this channel and it's called dollar cost averaging. And that is putting money into these index funds or investing in small increments in a monthly, on a monthly basis, weekly basis, or even annual basis if you need to. Um, you know, you can do a lump sum investment and that's cool with this a thousand bucks, but the recommendation is to continue to invest and build a model and a habit around investing over time. Some different ETFs that make a lot of sense for this investment model and for this strategy are SPY, which is one of the biggest ETFs of all time, really, and has the most capital inflow of all time. Another one by Vanguard is called VOO. So these are great starter and foundational ETFs. Again, this is not financial advice, but this is just my personal suggestion and recommendations with what I would do with a thousand bucks. Okay, guys, what are you doing with a thousand bucks? Please comment down below. And again, let's restart this journey. We're going to do videos every single week. This is a quick one for you. All the best. S&P all the way. I'm out, boys. Take care.